Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Jamie Hunt, and I am the Assistant Director of Programs here at Guide Dogs of America. And we want to welcome you all, those of you who are here, and those of you who are greeting us from home. Welcome to the graduation guide, guide dog class of 416. Over the past 14 months, we have really had to en en endure unforeseen challenges and make many changes. We can all agree that change can be a little scary and a little intimidating, but we need to remember that change is hard and it's necessary to make us better. We had a positive change at the beginning of 2020 when we merged with TLC. We needed to change when COVID happened. We had to modify many of our daily operations. As we all know, the CDC updates their changes very frequently. We modified and changed how we run the organization moving to online formats, Zoom calls, uh, working hard to support the over 200 puppy raisers that we couldn't even physically go out and see. We reorganized our class structure to ensure that we were still able to give all of our clients the support and training they needed. We learned and are still learning how to celebrate our new teams so we could share this amazing day with all of you. Through all of this, there was one constant. Uh, our amazing staff, our dedicated volunteers, area leaders, puppy raisers, breeder hosts, and of course, our wonderful clients. We made these changes together, and we are here today proving that throughout all of this chaos, we as a team persevered. Today, even though we're not, here phys not all here physically, we're still coming together to celebrate these six new guide dog teams. Whatever the future holds, I do know that it will include more change because for any organization to grow and develop, changes are necessary. So let's all do it together. We here at GDA thank each and every one of you for everything that you do for Guide Dogs of America. And with that, I'm going to introduce our president, Russ Gitlin. I want to welcome everybody. We have several sponsor sponsorships we would like to award at this graduation. We are sorry that our sponsors were not able to be with us today, but we know they are watching this ceremony, and we want to thank them for the continued support, especially during these troubled times. We acknowledge the following. We want to thank Earl B. Gilmore Foundation for their student scholarship for Christy Colton. This is a family foundation led by longtime puppy raiser, Missy Staten, and her sister, Ginny Crowdell. Every year, they make a generous donation to sponsor a student or a dog, and this year, the recipient is Christy. Thank you so much, Missy and Ginny. How about a round of applause? We have one puppy sponsorship to award as well. These puppy sponsorships cover all expenses incurred in raising a puppy from the time it goes home with its razor at eight weeks until it returns to GDA for formal training. We would like to thank Ms. Judith Kaplan for her sponsorship of Guide Dog Lev. Ms. Kaplan has been sponsoring puppies for many years and continues to be a great part of our GDA family. I believe she is watching this ceremony from her home in Florida. So Judith, thank you so much for your support. Big round of applause for Judith. <laughs> Finally, we would like to thank James and Janice Farquhar for the harness sponsorships for guide dogs Jinx and Hank. How about a big round of applause? <laughs> Those of you um, that, are, that are out in the audience on Facebook and are wondering when you're gonna be able to start coming back in, I think pretty soon we're gonna start opening it up uh, uh, as, as the CDC changed rules. Um, we're figuring out the best way to approach bringing back people, volunteers back onto property the right way. Um, we're being safe about it, but as time goes on, you'll know more. Just keep keep track of us on Instagram or Facebook or, or dealing, with Le dealing with Lisa. Um, but in the meantime, we're getting the place ready for you because we, we redid the, now the, the nursery's done. 
and we moved on to the kennels, um, and they're being done as we speak. Uh, in fact, uh, a lot of work has already been done in the kennels. It continues to be work. We're getting new cages coming in. Uh, I think you guys are going to be quite pleased. So that's just a little update about what's going on around here. I want to take a personal note of uh, personal privilege here and just talk about a few things that happened with me. Um, I had the privilege of attending my daughter Julia's uh, graduation from nursing uh, school this past weekend. I sat in a crowd that had assembled to see their children graduate and thought about what is said here by every puppy raiser that comes on this stage during a graduation here at GDA. As puppy raisers share the joy of seeing their four-footed family member graduate from GDA, they always say it takes a village. I've heard that saying many a times, and as my daughter was being certified a nurse, I thought of all the villages, villagers that made this amazing woman that stood before me. I thought of my sister and my brother who supported, my sisters and brothers who supported her throughout the days alone in Massachusetts. My son who provided shelter as Julia worked her internship at Mass General during one of the worst pandemics in our lives. My friends that went out to see her in Western Massachusetts and also provided a hot meal in bed when needed. Let's not forget her mother that always made sure they talked every day, guiding her through whatever life threw at her. This was Julia's magical village and I am grateful for the village that created my favorite first responder, RN, Julia Gitlin. How about a big round of applause for my daughter? Today, I am honored and excited to introduce what the magical villages here at Guide Dogs of America have produced. I ask that we all give a great big round of applause for these six hardworking students and their new four-footed trusted companions, class 416. Class 416 have been working day and night preparing for this day when they step out into the world and do amazing things together. I look forward to hearing about all the great adventures these teams will enjoy. See, life with a guide dog is special. You no longer will be blind. You, will have been, you have been blessed with two of the prettiest eyes you could ask for. You will no longer be alone as you explore the world with a, a loyal friend. Now, I must warn you, that you will no longer have clothes that are not full of hair, <laughs> or a pair of pants without a poop bag in it, a couch that hasn't been drooled on, but rest assured, the reward and joy far outweigh the few inconveniences. So as you leave today, know that the villages at GDA are cheering for you. We are here for you. Go make us smile every day by living life to the fullest. Thank you. Now I'm going to introduce uh, the lead in this class. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a great employee here and just does absolutely terrific work. Uh, always there when called upon. I, I mentioned last graduation that, you know, when, when things were tough, the tough get going. And Sean's tough, man. He, he, get, he got on a plane and he, he, he got going. He went out and made sure that all those that needed service with their new uh, service animal were taken care of. So how about a big round of applause for our lead instructor, Sean Childs. Thank you, Russ. Good afternoon. My name is Sean Childs, and I had the luxury of being the lead instructor for class three, or sorry, 316, <laughs> 416. Before I introduce the class, 416, there are some people, though, I have to, have to thank. Starting with Patty, uh, she works for a management company called uh, Askezian, sorry, that's bad, uh, Development uh, in San Fernando. She was so gracious, uh, allowing us to use her conference room as an area for our students to rest between routes. Uh, I would also like to thank our two, uh, Alicia Finesse and Christine Coyle. These two lovely women were our dorm volunteers over the weekend. 
during class. They, uh, this allowed us instructors to have a much needed day of rest. Okay. Uh, in our class, I had the joy of working with two great women, Sydney Fugishii, and who was learning how to teach her first class, and Kelsey Horst, who was helping teach Sydney uh, how to do everything that we do in class, which is a lot of things. <laughs> Both made our class, our 21-day class, seem to fly by with flyby, and now we are here today to celebrate our class, okay, the graduating class 416. Now, if I had to describe class 416 in one word, it is friendship. This class quickly made friends with each other. Two of them even came to a class previous and were friends from then. Uh, we had six students, five of which were retrains, and one was getting her very first guide dog. The group ranged from 30 to, or sorry, 23 years old to 65 years young. Uh, the, class had, the class worked really hard the last 21 days, and when things got tough, the entire class supported one another and made training fun every day. They also made time to laugh, play a good game of Uno, and some late night treats like pizza and Baskin Robbins. <laughs> the class also did really well putting up with some of our extra protocols that we had set up for our COVID-19 protocols. Thank you, class. Now, I would like to start to introduce the class. The first uh, lady that I would like to introduce is Beatrice Davis. Beatrice joins us from Las Vegas, Nevada. Beatrice is married and has four adult kids and five grandkids. She is currently volunteering for, Na for the Na sorry, Nevada Blind Center. She also did a lot of Guide Dogs of America fundraising. Beatrice is an active handler, traveling all around her home area. Beatrice is also an avid beat ball player and karaoke singer. This will be Beatrice's second Guide Dog from GDA, and she has been paired with a yellow Labrador Retriever Harry, who was raised by the Holly Shogren family and family, represented today by Holly. Thank you, Sean. This past year has been very difficult and challenging for everyone. We've all had our ups and downs, myself included. I had to retire my first guide dog, whom I had for nine years, and then I got married. Love you, honey. I, I became very ill with COVID, and now I have a little ball of sunshine in my life named Harry. There are a lot of, um, I'm sure life being what it is will have more challenges ahead of me, but this time I have a new partner to go through that journey with. There are a lot of people that are responsible for having me here on the stage today, from the Lions Club and the Blind Center of Nevada, who've been cheering me on for the past three weeks, even though it's felt more like three months. <laughs> to my wonderful trainers, Sydney, Kelsey, and Sean, to the, <laughs> it's an inside joke. <laughs> to the fabulous children at, oh, I don't want to screw this up, Hope's View Elementary School, who actually raised Harry. I can only imagine what recess must have been like for them. And a thumbs up to the Ocean View School District because I can't believe they still let them raise a puppy, you know, on campus. Harry is definitely a blessing in my life, and I am truly grateful for him. He's already left little paw prints on my heart, so I am very grateful to GDA as well as to Holly for raising such a lovable ball of sunshine. Thank you. Hopeview Harry, a story written by the Shogren family, Hopeview students, staff, and community, published by Guide Dogs of America. Once upon a time, a puppy named Harry was sent home with his puppy raiser family. Harry spent the weekend getting used to his new pack, and then off he went to Hopeview Elementary School the following Monday. 
the students were so excited to meet him. Should they call him Harry Houdini? Because he did escape from his pen a couple times in class. Harry the Dirty Dog, a favorite children's book. Harry Potter, a favorite. But the name that stuck was Hope View Harry. Hope View Harry met many students during the two years he was at Hope View. He attended all school functions, meetings, assemblies, and field trips, and even attended fifth grade outdoor science camp. But the most important job Harry had was to educate the students and community about the guide dog program. He visited many classrooms and taught the students and staff proper working dog etiquette. He taught the students not to be afraid of dogs, and most importantly, how important it is to volunteer and give back to your community. One of the best memories was when a young kinder friend who was having a really hard time coming into the school building asked Harry to help him be brave. The principal quickly summoned Harry and asked for his assistance. All it took was a couple of pets, maybe a quick kiss, and the little boy was calm and ready for his school day. Harry was immediately welcomed into his Orange County group of puppy raisers. He loved all the outings they went on together and loved the fun obedience classes at Tammy's house and at GDA with Hannah and Carol Ann. Harry was always serious with his work and was a pro at traveling on planes, trains, and automobiles. When it came time for Harry to leave for Guide Dog College, a school-wide assembly was planned in his honor. The students all chanted, Hope View is the place to be. Harry's there for you and me. Being safe is number one. Harry, you are so much fun. H-A-R-R-Y, we are sad to say goodbye. Hope View loves Harry. Now Harry's story would be incomplete without noting the love and support from his primary pack. Harry loved his puppy raisers, Bob, Holly, Hannah, and Cora, and his puppy friends at home, Olive, Lou, Luca, and Keeper. They all are so proud of him. Hope you Harry's story is not over yet. It's just beginning, and we know that V and Harry will have many happy years together. I do want to thank the Ocean View School District, Superintendent Dr. Carol Hansen, Assistant Superintendent Felix Avila, Dr. Julianne Hofer, the Ocean View School District School Board, Principals Paul Kraft and Christy Lucky, and our Hope View PTO for their continued support for this program. Our district goal is to have a dog in training at every school site. Thank you, President Gitlin, trainers, kennel staff, Stephanie, Hannah, Carol Ann, and the entire GDA TLC staff for blessing us with your work. Thank you, Orange County leaders, Tammy and Mark New, and Joanne Russell. And thank you to Judy Riley and Joanne Russell for introducing GDA to our school 10 years ago. V, you are a remarkable woman, and we are so blessed to have you in our lives and to be able to watch the love between you and Harry grow over the years. You are our sunshine. Our next graduate that I'd like to introduce is Christy Coilton. Christy is a 23-year-old woman, and she joins us from Salt Lake City, uh, Utah. She has completed her undergraduate school at Harvard, Harvard University and is currently finishing her master's in software development at the University of Utah. Uh, in addition to being a full-time student, Christy is an avid runner and snowboarder. Uh, this is Christy's first guide dog, and she was paired with a black Labrador retriever named Vorden, who was raised by Debbie and Savannah Ames, who unfortunately weren't able to be here today, but they are represented, represented today by Deb Madden. When I first got to Guide Dogs of America about three weeks ago, I was so nervous. But I, I never had a guide dog before. But I told myself, no worries, Christy. Everyone in the class is new to this. You'll just learn right alongside of them. About 15 minutes later, I learned that everyone in the class had had a guide dog before. So I was made even more nervous. Um, but that following Wednesday, I met Vorden for the first time. And all of my nerves just immediately vanished. 
we went on our first walk that day. And when I tell you we flew, I mean we flew. I think Sydney was like running behind us to keep up. It was one of the most exhilarating and thrilling moments of my life. We spent the next three weeks learning how to dodge and weave various obstacles, how to arrive at a variety of destinations. And as we were tearing up the streets of San Fernando, I realized that Warden is not just helping me navigate physical obstacles. He's not just getting me to the grocery store, to school. Warden's really helping me to navigate this next chapter of my life. As you know, I'm in my early 20s, and I can't help but think about how Vorden will be with me for my graduation of my master's program. He'll be with me for my first real job. Um, maybe he'll even be with me for my wedding. My first, hopefully not my second wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, sitting in the car with Sean one time, and I asked him, you know, how do these dogs stay motivated? to continue the guide work after you've weaned them off of food training. And he said to me that the bond between the team becomes so strong that the dog stays motivated because he never wants to see you get hurt. He loves you so much. And I really felt that because, let me tell you, a cane does not care when you run straight into a tree branch. <laughs> So to my incredible puppy raisers, Debbie and her daughter Savannah, my new BFF, <laughs> thank you so much for your tremendous sacrifice and your gift to me. Warden is an incredible dog, absolutely astounding. I think there are rumors going around that he's the best guide dog GDA has ever seen. <laughs> I may have started those rumors, but I wholeheartedly believe them to be true. Thank you to the trainers for taking me from zero to transforming me into the confident person I am now. Thank you to Jamie. If I cry, 10% of the reason is because I'm going to miss her food. And thank you to everyone at GDA who made this possible, especially my class who imbued so much wisdom um, and advice onto me. I really appreciate everything. So thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, I'm Deb Madden, and I'm representing Debbie and Savannah Ames. They both sent a little note from Debbie. I remember the first graduation we attended. We laughed and we cried. It was so touching, and some of the speakers were extremely funny. One puppy raiser said, when we decided to raise a puppy, little did I know that the puppy was going to be, was going to be like raising a two-year-old on crack. <laughs> We actually decided right after graduation that we wanted to be part of this guide dog community. Our experience has been nothing short of amazing. We have loved each and every one of our puppies with all of our heart. The really cool thing is that with each of those puppies did as much for our family as we had set out to do for them. The ones who graduated were not a puppy loss, but instead their partners become an awesome friend gained. They are our GDA family, and now that Vorden has been partnered with Christy, it is apparent that we have another GDA family member. We have already had the opportunity to get to know Christy, and she is incredible, she is smart, funny, super outgoing, and the perfect match for Vorden. Welcome to our family, Christy. <clears throat> From Savannah. Getting to know Christy over these past few days had made me realize that not only did Vorden gain a life partner, but that I also gained a friend. As you have heard many times, Vorden means a lot to us, but I can already tell you that you mean the world to him. On a side note, I thought that your scholarly self would appreciate the fact that I was finally able to graduate before one of my guide dog puppies. With just how amazing of a puppy Borden is, I'm honestly surprised he didn't figure out a way to graduate before me. 
<laughs> I would take Warden to school almost every single day towards the end of my senior year. My teacher would walk over to my desk and quietly whisper, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but just give me a minute, and would cradle on the floor with him at the end of class. I'll let you in on a little secret. If you introduce all your professors to Warden, you are bound to receive amazing grades. <laughs> in the beginning, you know what these puppies are going to grow up to be, but you never really think about the person that they will one day partner with. Little did I know she would be a fan of the same British band I had been fangirling over since I was 12 years old. Christy, when I tell you I believe you and Borden were meant for each other, I mean it from the deepest part of my heart. I'm so happy that Borden is your first guide dog and that you'll be able to discover this whole new world of freedom that he will bring to you. You better know that we already love you so much and are so excited to hear about all the adventures that you and Borden will go on. I know he will take absolute best care of you. Love your newest friend, Savannah. Our next graduate that I'd like to introduce is uh, Rhonda Hudson. Rhonda is a 20, or sorry, 62 year old uh, woman who joins us from Vianne, Oklahoma. She is married with one uh, adult son and one grandson. She currently is a small businesswoman who contracts with the Oklahoma Department of Rehabilitation Service through the Oklahoma Business Enterprise Program. She runs everything from a small snack bar to uh, filling various vending machines in various state facilities in Oklahoma. When not working, she is an avid uh, fan of hanging out with her family and going to church. Uh, this is Rhonda's fourth guide dog, second from Guide Dogs of America. She has been paired with a Yale Labrador Retriever, Hank, who was raised by Ava and Blake Baldwin. Uh, unfortunately, the Baldwins weren't able to make it, so Sydney's got a prepared statement to read. Oh, this is an exciting time. Uh, first of all, Hank is the brother of Harry, uh, and, and regardless of what Christy says, I've got the better of all the dogs. <laughs> um, I'd first like to start out by thanking my Lord Jesus for bringing me back to GDA. I had such a wonderful success the first time. I just knew when I had to retire him that this is where I wanted to come. Uh, I'd like to give a very special thank you to all the donors and the volunteers for everything you guys do for us. I wouldn't be standing, none of us would be standing here today without you guys. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the next, I'd like to thank our class. It's been probably one of the best classes I've ever been in. Uh, supporting each other, encouraging each other, uh, giving suggestions to each other, and most important of all, laughing together to be able to release some of the stress that we go through. I'd love to be able to say thank you to Hank's Puppy Raisers, Ava and Blake, They've done such a fantastic job with him. He fits my personality. He fits my lifestyle. I just, God's hand all the way, guys. Thank you, Ava. Thank you, Blake. And a very, very special thank you to my trainers. Yep, you guys were hard on us, but I wouldn't have had it any other way. Um, and believe me, if, if we thought we had 30 minutes to sit down and relax, forget it. Sean figured something to do out in that 30 minutes. Uh, but again, I wouldn't have had it any difference. Uh, thank you again to the whole staff of GDA. Just thank you. So I have a letter from Ava and Blake Baldwin, Hank's Puppy Raisers. It says, congratulations and best wishes to our sweet, gentle pup, Hank, and to Rhonda, 
We will keep you both in our prayers. A most loyal and trusted companion, quite a pair. Be well and keep in touch. As for GDA, we will be in touch soon, I promise. Our next graduate I'd like to introduce is Connie Giacomi. I'm sure I probably butchered that a little bit. Sorry, Connie. Uh, Connie is a 55-year-old woman, and she joined us from Gilbert, Arizona. She is married with two kids and one grandbaby. She is, a, she is retired, and she spends most of her time traveling with her husband in their RV. She will, be tra she will be traveling to see her family in this very short time, and she loves reading a good book and camping. This is Connie's seventh guide dog, second from Guide Dogs of America. She has been paired with a yellow Labrador, yellow Labrador retriever named Poco, who is raised by the George and Mary Thompson. Uh, Sydney also has a little thing for her too, so. Um, I'm not as good a speaker as my classmates, so I just wanna thank my trainers at GDA. And no, I got the best dog, guys. <laughs> She's a little more hyper than theirs, maybe, but she's definitely the best dog. And I want to thank George and Mary for doing such a great job. And it was a really nice visit we had. They were able to come see me. And thanks to the trainers, because we had the best trainers. And thank you to GDA again. Thank you. From George and Mary, it says, to Connie and all our very dear friends at Guide Dogs of America, please accept our sincere regrets for being unable to attend the graduation ceremony in person. That said, know that we are both in, with you in spirit today, and we are honored to share some of our heartfelt experiences as Poco's puppy raisers. One of the greatest joys of being a puppy raiser is realized when you get a phone call from Stephanie at GDA saying, congrats, your puppy has been matched with a partner. We, we are blessed to have re received that phone call and we're very happy for Poco and her new partner for life, Connie. We are also grateful for the incredible support provided by Debbie Wonder Woman Prince, Carol Ann, our fellow Ventura County puppy raisers, all of you, and everyone at the GDA Center. Thank you all so very much. Now, let's talk about Poco. Connie, in the interest of time, please know that we will skip over Poco's obvious attributes like super intelligent, gorgeous, incredibly obedient, and the perfect pick of the litter. <clears throat> you know, pretty much the same attributes claimed by all other puppy, pea litter puppy raisers from Ventura County. Okay. Um, what you can know for certain is that along with Poco's leash comes a lifetime companion who will give you everlasting loyalty, unlimited affection, and unconditional love. As a puppy, Poco has demonstrated an eagerness to learn, braved evacuation during the wildfires, and as much as Poco enjoys being rewarded with treats, you will find her greatest joy is leading with love. So no matter what the future holds, walk forward with Poco in confidence and know she will always be there to warm your feet on cool mornings, brighten your day with a nuzzle regardless of the forecast, guard your heart from those who seem not to care, and stay by your side morning, noon, and night. Thank you, GDA, and thank you, Poco, for giving us the joy of raising a puppy for the purpose of which you were born, to guide, encourage, and serve alongside Connie as a guide dog of America. Our next student that I'd like to introduce is Richard Orozco. Richard Orozco is a 65-year-old man, and he joins us from Commerce, California. Uh, he lives with a longtime girlfriend, and he is a retired small engine mechanic. Uh, he, is, he really likes to travel with his dog, and he usually is either heading to his family or to a good, good food place. <laughs> this is Richard's sixth guide dog, all from GDA, and he has been paired with a black Labrador retriever named Lev. He was raised by Matt and Kate Silberstein, uh, represented today 
uh, on stage by Kate. Or, sorry, Kate. Oh, it's bad. I'd like to thank uh, GDA for uh, my sixth guide dog, and I'm not good for words, so I'm just to say that. Thank you. Matt has to be with me because this was a total team effort. We want to congratulate Richard and we want to thank everyone, all of the staff at GDA for everything they do to help bring these guide dogs to fruition. A friend on my over here said that he knew us before we started raising guide dog puppies and that they've transformed our lives and he's totally, totally accurate. Lev was placed in our arms on January 25th, 2019, and immediately stole our hearts, just as his name means. Lev means heart in Hebrew. Lev is our third GDA puppy and was sponsored by the Judith Ann Kaplan Foundation. We thank Judith Ann, Judith Kaplan so much for her support. We, we really, really appreciate it. Lev spent his time with us learning his skills and commands and going on outings. His many outings include not only the standard stores, libraries, hikes, walks, but also weekly attendance at our synagogue ECAR and visits to his grandmother at her assisted living facility. Both communities were instrumental in helping build Lev's confidence and hone his skills. At nine months after his evaluation, Lev was chosen to attend the Machinist Union Conference in San Diego with GDA staff along with two other puppies. It was such an honor and Lev made everyone proud. When not training or working, we want to let you know that Lev loved playing with his adopted sister, Velvet. His favorite activity with her was dragging her across the room by her collar. With great love, Velvet just happily laid on her back and let this happen. This was a strange past year, and due to the pandemic, we were able to keep Lev longer than his original turn in date. We cherished those extra months, continued his training, and during this time, we brought home our current and fourth GDA puppy, Tabby. We also fostered a TLC puppy for about four months. We had lots of lab love in the home with four labs running around. We really try to support GDA and TLC as much as possible. Richard, we want you to know, <laughs> want you to know that Lev, I'm sorry, Lev is a beautiful, amazing dog, not just in looks. He is bright, affectionate, and loving. He has terrific focus and attention and a wonderful inner calm. People at synagogue used to say he had an amazing soul. He has all the attributes of a successful guide dog. We hope that he's your best of six. We look forward to having you and Lev in our lives for a very long time to come. And we are proud beyond words and are so happy that Richard and Lev are now together. Thank you so much, everybody, and thank you, GDA, TLC. Now for our last but very not least uh, graduate, Carrie Shields. Carrie's a 44-year-old woman. Uh, she joins us from Lake Forest, California. Carrie has a small business running a pet sitting service in her home, and she takes care of her two mini donkeys. When not uh, doing this, Carrie is an avid traveler, taking cruises, camping, and overall a true fan of getting out into the wilderness. This is Carrie's third guide dog, all from GDA. She has been paired with a German shepherd named Jinx, uh, who was raised by Carlin English and Renee Lamont. Uh, speaking today will be Renee.
Hi there. Uh, I'm not great at public speaking, but I'll give it a go. Um, Jinx, like Sean said, is my third guide dog from GDA. Uh, first dog in 2004, second dog 2013. And here we are. God knew I didn't have any more room in my heart for a lab, so he gave me a shepherd instead. Um, Sean, you're my rock. You have done a fantastic job training this dog. Um, he's an amazing dog. He's smart. He's hilarious. Um, he's alert. He's a good worker. Uh, I feel very safe with this dog, and I can't wait for all of our adventures together. Um, to Carlin and Renee and Bob and Pam English, because everybody had a hand in it. Um, I can't believe I'm standing here. I first met Pam and Bob in 2004 when I got my first dog. And um, we have seen each other every year on vacation since. And our big thing was we would always take a picture in front of the cows at the, at the mule show. So um, I'm looking forward to actually getting a picture this time with an English puppy. <laughs> So that'll be great. Um, to Jamie, I feel like I've been on a cruise for the last three weeks. Thanks for keeping me fed. Um, to the incredible trainers, Sydney, thanks for the laughs. And the guidance, Kelsey, thanks for the fun. Sean, like I said, you're amazing, but you don't get to get rid of me. <laughs> you're, you're stuck with me. <laughs> um, I do appreciate everybody here at GDA and uh, to Jamie Hunt, thanks for giving me the gentle nudge I needed um, to consider a shepherd. And to Yvonne Martin, who knew from 2004 that a shepherd was my destiny. She tried in 2004 to get me a shepherd. Uh, they tried again in 2013, and here we are. So kudos to you, know, Jamie Hunt. Um, Thank you all very much, and it's been wonderful to my class. You guys are amazing. We stuck it out. We did it, and here we are. Thank you. Hello, I am Renee. I was one of Jinx's puppy raisers. Uh, as it was stated, I was not the only one who had a hand in raising him. Uh, Carlin English was also the other one, as well as Bob and Pam, and just anyone else who had the pleasure of working with Jinx that goes from trainers to other puppy sitters who watched him while Carlin and I were away. And raising him was such a blessing. He is my second guide dog to, well, guide dog puppy to raise. And I'm just so excited that he made it. I had no doubts. <laughs> his personality, yes, he is very hilarious. He, day one, was chasing his tail, like we were talking about earlier, Carrie. So, yeah, that won't ever go away. <laughs> if they didn't take it out of him here, that nah, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> but I am just so thankful that he went to you. And he, we took him on hikes all the time. And he's definitely going to be a good match for your, all of your adventures. So I hope you enjoy him for many years. All right. Well, I just want to say congratulations uh, to all the students. You guys have worked so very hard over the last three weeks. Um, if you want me to give you one last lecture, I'll stop by before you go home. I know you're <laughs> just kidding. Um, but congratulations, you guys. Uh, you're now a part of our big family here at GDA. So remember, we're just a phone call away. We wish you the best of luck. Go out and the conquer, conquer the world with your new partners, and uh, good luck. So let's give everybody a nice big round of applause. Congratulations to class 416.